The American farmer has been the backbone of this country since it began. Farming is a tradition of hard work, sharing the load and looking out for your neighbor. The entire farming community and the ag community really overall has always been willing to help their neighbors. So when they have a success with a new product in the marketplace, they want to be able to share that experience with some of their other people. focus on here is a specific era from 1929 to 1959 and it's all American made. So every car you see in here is American steel and it was uh, built by manufacturers in America by Americans. We wanted to make sure that we still can present that in a beautifully visible way through the history of the automobile. When you look at the automobile industry, the first place the car itself and the people that drove them and the kind you had when you were a kid and your dad drove and the first car you ever dated in and all that sort of stuff, those are all the kind of comments that people, people have when they go through the museum because they all relate to something. Today we have the California Rescue Dogs Association, which is the largest wilderness search and rescue association in the state of California, with over 150 certified search and rescue dog teams. And these dogs can find people buried in 20 to 40 feet of rubble. Dogs are great tools. People are just starting to give them their due, but everything that I've seen, I've been training with them for the last eight or nine years, and they're just incredible what they can do. So, but that's great for us, coming in as a search team and then as a rescue team. It is located deep in Cambodia, spanning 800 years of history. The Temple of Bante Chamar. On January 12, 2010, Haiti changed forever. Hundreds of thousands dead or injured. Northern Haiti was spared the destruction of Port-au-Prince and it is here where that opportunity may lie. The city of Cap Haitien is an admixture of beauty, rich culture, and poverty. Nearby stands the national symbol of Haiti, undamaged, that promises an economic solution. It is La Citadelle. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Citadel is a source of national pride in Haiti. It was built in the time of Napoleon to repel the French in 1804. Another crucial element is the development of arts and crafts in Haiti. It is the only country in the Caribbean that still creates painting, wood sculpture, and works of art from metal. Uh, but this is a, a village with uh, sculptures. There is a uh, 60 sculptures and they use uh, discarded materials like um, drums. Historians have typically called Korea the Forgotten War, and I, I would articulate that Afghanistan is now the new Forgotten War. We are coming after a viable threat in a um, very, very unstable and strategically important area. It was right to go into Afghanistan. Even though it's been difficult for the country, I have no question at all that this was reasonable and correct conflict to fight. Like Iraq in Afghanistan, we found that it was, it was this, you know, when you got down to this, the smaller the unit, when those units were out there operating amongst the population, you could get a real sense for what 
the people that they were working with really needed. One of my biggest jobs as a platoon leader was to be able to keep my guys motivated and to be able to, you know, to let them know the progress that we were making, to let them, to validate their efforts. There's problems of massive corruption of the Afghan government. These have to be addressed. Why should we care about Afghanistan? My response to that question would be, why should we care about any peoples in any country?